Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2022 handbag and SLG collection. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I make videos about fashion, luxury, shoes and handbags. So if that's something that you are interested in, please consider subscribing and also give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get into the contents of today's video. So I am going to be sharing my entire luxury handbag collection uh, for 2022 and additionally to that, my SLG collection as well. I'm not going to share too many details about the bags and I'm just going to give maybe a pro and a con and maybe when I got each bag um, so that we can make this video as concise as possible. And I have them all just scattered on the floor down here um, beside me. So let's get on with the first one. So here we have my Saint Laurent Lou camera bag. I'll show it up there so you can see the YSL logo. It's just embossed rather than the hardware version. So this is in a kind of beigey, nudey, uh, taupe color. I've had it since 2019. Um, this bag is phenomenal. It's of shoulder or crossbody bag. It has this cute little tassel. I bought it as an alternative to the Gucci Soho bag and um, because this one's a little bit um, less common. Um, and it is just such an awesome all-rounder. You can use it when you're traveling because it's quite incognito. It's not obviously a designer bag. The logo is quite subtle there, but it fits an absolute ton. You can put a little water bottle in here and all of your essentials and more. It is a fantastic, fantastic bag. I actually don't have any cons for this. Maybe one is at the strap. It's on its shortest setting. It's adjustable, but it, is, it could be potentially a little bit long if you're on the shorter side. But this bag is absolutely fantastic and I'm delighted to have it in my collection. The next bag in my collection is also a Saint Laurent bag and this is called the Pendant Fringed Bucket Bag. I got it back in 2017, I believe, and it's just a sort of calf, smooth leather black bag and it has these kind of suede um, but on the other side, still smooth leather tassels. And I suppose the reason it's called the pendant bag is because it has the um, Saint Laurent logo just hanging off there, the zipper. Um, it's a really cute little bag. You can wear it kind of on your shoulder like this, or you could even double it up and wear it as like a, a shorter shoulder bag. It hasn't got um, any zippers or even a snap closure. So if security was an issue for you, I probably wouldn't recommend this bag, um, but it is super, super cute, super boho. It goes with heaps of my outfits and I love having it in my collection. The next bag is the Gucci Marmont and this is the mini flap shoulder bag. I got this back in 2018, I believe. Um, so it's the mini size, not a super, super mini. So it's still um, a decent size for all your essentials. Um, and this is probably one of the favorite, my favorite bags in my collection. It's really, really versatile. So um, it's got the double grommets. You can wear it as just a crossbody or a long shoulder bag, or you can double it. That was probably my preferred way of wearing it and wear it on your shoulder like this. Um, it is just made of beautiful and um, smooth calf leather and has the gold Marmont hardware on it as well. This bag is super, super versatile. I love it. Staying with the Gucci theme, I have the Gucci... Um, Dionysus bag here in the monogram print and it has the aged silver hardware. I absolutely adore this bag. It goes with so many outfits. Um, again, you can double it up and have it as a short shoulder bag or you can just drop the train and you can have it as a long shoulder bag or even a very short crossbody bag um, if you weren't too tall. Um, this bag is big i believe it was actually the medium size when i bought it back in 2019 but i think now it's actually on the website as a small size um but it's got like the suede here and then the treated canvas all around and um, it's an incredibly heavy bag the hardware and the chain and um, make it quite a weighty um, thing to carry around with you so and also even though it's quite a large size it doesn't fit a heap in i think because it's quite small and then on the inside because it's all um compartments that it's not um, super roomy, but nevertheless, it is a gorgeous bag. Um, I just love the look of it. It's so timeless. It goes with so many outfits and obviously I love this beautiful neutral color as well. So, so versatile. So that is my Dionysus bag. I have a couple of older bags here that I've had in my collection since 2000 and 
17, I believe. And um, so this first one is by not so well known a designer, but it's a British brand, um, Aspinall of London. So this is very popular. And anytime I go back to the UK, I always check out their pieces. Um, I believe this one is called the Padlock Bucket Bag. I do have a couple of bucket bags in my collection. I really, really like the silhouette and they're so um, easy to get in and out of and you can fit heaps in them. So it's just very, very smooth calf skin, beautiful. The leather is such good quality. Um, and then it has the beautiful gold hardware as well. Again, you can wear this um, as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. I'd say the same as the Saint Laurent. Um, this strap, while it's adjustable, isn't um, really suitable if you had a shorter torso, which I think I must have, because I think it does hold um, hang rather low on me but despite that it is a super beautiful bag it's just got the little clochette there it's got a little key in it and um, that goes with the little padlock chain there super 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 cute and here's another bucket bag this one is from 2015 and it is the Burberry Ashby bucket bag and um, it is a really large large bag so I have worn this um, for work and for quite a number of years um, until I replaced it with a different bag. And it definitely has a, a fair amount of wear and tear on it. Um, that being said, I really, really love this bag. It is a great neutral, even though um, it's quite busy with patterns, it obviously has the Burberry check and it also has this kind of camo print as well. Um, and this really cool tassel, which I really, really enjoy. And um, it does go with heaps and heaps and heaps of outfits. It's really versatile in how you wear it. It has got this short um, kind of tan leather strap and um, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag but it also has this long strap as well which is adjustable and it's really really substantial so you can wear it as a cross body as well if your shoulder just get like a little bit sore if you're cutting it around because it is large it is intended to be a work bag and that's certainly how i have used it so it's been in my collection i think it's probably one of the oldest bags that i have um but it is a very much loved piece of my collection and i'm sure i will have it for years to come here I have my Mulberry Alexa bag, and this is in a distressed um, calf skin. It has the gold hardware, um, and this is just the regular original size, not you know the mini one, um, but it is an absolute classic. I used to have a lot of Mulberry bags, but I sold all of them um, apart from this one when I moved to Australia. Mulberry is a really big brand in the UK, but it wasn't really very well known here, and there weren't really any Mulberry stores. It's still not here in Brisbane, a Mulberry store. Um, but I really just love the silhouette of this and it is such a huge bag. Again, it's really awesome for work um, and I have definitely used it as that, but I think it's just so classic and I love how you hold it in the crook of your arm. That is probably my preferred way to wear um, a bag like this. And it really reminds me, I think, of the Balenciaga City Tote, which is the main reason why I bought it because that was actually my very first designer bag um, that I have um, not no longer got in my collection. Um, but same as the... Um, Burberry also has a longer adjustable shoulder strap, so you can um, crossbody it if your um, arm is getting tired from lugging this around all day. So yeah, a really classic piece that I love having in my collection. So the next bag is probably my favourite in my collection currently. That does change um, from time to time. This is obviously the Dior saddle bag. It is in the grained um, calf skin, not the smooth one, um, and that is because I'm not careful with my bags at all. I don't really baby them. So um, having a more durable leather is definitely a pro for me. Um, so they don't look kind of used and battered too quickly. Um, so it's got the gold hardware. And even though this bag is possibly a fashion piece, I mean, it's a pretty unusual um, shape that certainly dates it. Um, but I just love the way that it looks. I was influenced into buying this from seeing a model wear it, I think, on an Instagram advert. And I just couldn't stop thinking about it, um, but I just love it. Like having a little bag on my shoulder like that has, um, yeah, definitely for an evening bag is my favorite way to wear a bag. I just love having it really close to me. It's super easy to carry around. It's like actually quite ergonomic. Like it fits really nicely under your arm as well like that. Um, and I do really love the shape of it. I know that a lot of people say it looks like a, an organ, like a liver, um, but I love it. And it just goes with so many of my evening outfits. Goes really well with denim. I love it. Uh, the next bag is a Louis Vuitton. It is the GM, oh, it's so heavy this one. I'm carding it up here. Uh, the GM Neverfull in the Damia Bean print. Um, so obviously it's a coated canvas. Everybody has this bag, right? So I don't need to really talk about it at all. I'm currently using it as my baby bag. Um, now that I've had my little boy, so you can see it's got 
a special insert inside it so that I can um, sort of organize all of his little baby things. And I also have these handle protectors on it because a massive con of this bag is that the piping on the leather, and I've heard it is just on the Damiette Bean, it's not so much with the um, Pachetta leather on the monogram version, peels really, really easily. And it has like within a year, the handles were peeling. I've had them repaired. It started doing it again. I can do a different video on that. But anyway, um, despite the flaws of this bag, I do love it. Um, it's huge, it's great for traveling, um, it's obviously great for a baby bag if you want to use it for that. And um, Before that I use it as my work bag. Um, yeah, it's just such an easy throw everything in there bag. Very, very hard wearing in terms of the canvas, not so much with the leather, but I love this bag. And here I have another bag from Louis Vuitton. So this is the uh, Neo Noé bag in the monogram. And the pink color I believe is called Rose powder i'm definitely not pronouncing that correctly it's spelled in a obviously in the french and i'm sounding like a total bogan with my pronunciation there um but again this bag is big it was used as a work bag just like all of my big bags i tend to do that with them and then the downside of that is that i completely trash them this bag is definitely trashed i think going for the um the rose powder or the pink um, leather and interior was a mistake because I've just thrown things into this. My water bottle has leaked in this. It is super, super disgusting. So it definitely needs to go for a clean and then I'm gonna have to buy, I think an insert for it. Um, but yeah, I have not taken care of this bag. I have completely trashed it. I still love the look of it though. And I'm hoping that um, as it continues to age, it will possibly um, just get a bit of character and I'll be able to keep using it for years. Um, if I was to buy it again, uh, which I don't think I would at the new price, I would most likely get it with the black leather. I just think that's gonna be a lot more durable and easy to take care of. And here I have another bag from Louis Vuitton. So this is the uh, Neo Noé bag in the monogram. And the pink color I believe is called Rose Powder. I'm definitely not pronouncing that correctly. It's spelled in a, obviously in the French and I'm sounding like a total bogan with my pronunciation there. Um, but again, this bag is big. It was used as a work bag, just like all of my big bags. I tend to do that with them. And then the downside of that is I completely trash them. This bag is definitely trashed. I think going for the, um, the rose powder or the pink um, leather and interior was a mistake because I've just thrown things into this. My water bottle has leaked in this. It is super, super disgusting. So it definitely needs to go for a clean and then I'm gonna have to buy, I think an insert for it. Um, but yeah, I have not taken care of this bag. I have completely trashed it. I still love the look of it though. And I'm hoping that um, as it continues to age, it will possibly um, just get a bit of character and I'll be able to keep using it for years. Um, if I was to buy it again, uh, which I don't think I would at the new price, I would most likely get it with the black leather. I just think that's gonna be a lot more durable and easy to take care of. So this is the final bag in my collection um, until, ooh, fingers crossed, I get my Hermes Picatin that I was talking about in my last video. So this is the Chanel Coco handle. And um, when I bought it, it was the mini size, but now I believe it's the small size. So it's not the, the tiny little like one that they brought up since buying this. This is the one that has the six quilts across. So I believe it's just called the small now. And then there's a medium as well. Um, so it is in the caviar leather, the champagne gold hardware, um, really, really cute bag. This is my first Chanel piece. I didn't realize how hard it could be to buy a Chanel bag, particularly this one in the store, but I got incredibly lucky. I might do a separate video on that one and um, on how I managed to obtain this. I've just got a little twilly on the handle because I love dressing up top handles on bags. Um, yeah, but it's got this little detachable strap, which means you can wear it on your shoulder. Um, you definitely can't wear this one crossbody because it is a very, very short drop. Um, but it is so beautiful. I'm so happy that I have a Chanel piece. I got this while it was still $5,200. And now I pretty, I'm pretty sure it's heading towards the 7,000 Australian dollar mark now. Um, yes. So it is a beautiful bag. Um, I do take care of this one because it was very expensive in my opinion. Um, but yes, it is gorgeous. And I do use this a lot when I'm going out in the evenings. I'm now going to move on to the SLG part of the video. And um, so I don't have as many SLGs as I do bags, but I definitely have a few really, really useful ones that I use every single day. Um, that being said, the first one I do not use every day. So this is the um, Chanel rectangular vanity with the chain. And it's in a raffia 
and lambskin. So the base is lambskin um, and the detailing on the strap and the zips are lambskin as well. Um, and then the majority of the bag is made of raffia. I bought this because I really wanted a cute little mini bag that would go with summery outfits because we live in Brisbane and it's summery most of the time. Really, really sunny. Um, and yeah, this isn't a bag. This is definitely um, an, classed as an SLG um, as far as Chanel is concerned. I mean, let's face it, it is a vanity with a chain. So obviously you are going to use this for a bag. Um, it also on the inside has card slots. I mean, and why would they put card slots in something that they um, don't at least assume that you are going to be using as a handbag. I mean, I don't think vanity cases really require you to carry your credit cards in them. Uh, yes, of course. So this was obviously going to be used as a bag. I did have to buy this from a reseller. I bought it brand new and I got it for a really good price. I didn't have to pay over retail for it, which was excellent. And it was in perfect condition when I got it with a full set. Um, but I've seen these on the resale market now for extortionate amounts of money. It does for all the essentials, including my phone. I have the Samsung S21 in the regular size um, and it fits easily in there along with um, all of my other essentials. It is so super cute. I absolutely love it. The next SLG I have in my collection is my Saint Laurent card holder. Um, so I will just hold it up so you can see. It's made of super smooth calf skin, um, but this is like years old. I believe I got this actually on the same shopping trip that I got um, my fringed um, Saint Laurent bucket bag. Um, and it has the same, that kind of embossed logo like the camera bag and um, which makes it really incognito and discreet i love it this is the only card holder i have i don't need more than one card holder i will see this every single day it goes in my bag with me everywhere i go with all my cards in it um and yeah it is such a useful piece that has worn excellently over the years another super useful slg that i have in my collection is my louis vuitton six key holder so there it is, it's in the monogram and it has the gold snap closure. So you can see inside, it's got my um, house keys and it even fits my car key fob, which is awesome. And it closes really, really easily, even with that inside. And um, obviously I use this every single day. Well, I say it closes easily, but it just took me ages to close that just then. Um, yes, it is so, so handy. And I think I bought it a year and a half ago and I got it for about $300 from the store. Australian dollars so that seemed like quite a good price and um, because I have seen these not Louis Vuitton branded but I mean even kind of generic brands tend to be about $100 for a leather one and um, so yeah I'm really really happy with this and it's a super useful item it stops all of my bags getting scratched on the inside when I throw my keys in there so I can be a lot more carefree um, with my keys and the final SLG I have in my collection is this Marks Jacobs pouch in this really beautiful leather smooth smooth calfskin leather in this tan color with the gold embossed lettering and i used to use this as a clutch bag i've had this for a, a really long time i believe the same length of time i've had the burberry bag i just added this little um kind of accessory tassel thing to it as well um but yeah because it's huge it fits all of your essentials and even more um, and because of the collar being so neutral you can just use it as a clutch with anything it's really really carefree and um, it can also be used as a catch-all in your bigger bags so even though I don't use this as much anymore because I have a lot more um, bags in my collection than I did in 2015, um, I have still kept it because I do really love the look of it and I know that I will be able to find a, another use for it at some point in the future. So that is it for my handbag and my SLG collection for 2022. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please link your handbag collections in the comments down below. These are my absolutely favorite type of video to watch. I think I'm just a little bit nosy, but I love comparing what I have in my collection with other people's collections and getting ideas. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be back again next week with another video. Have a great day.